Good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are exceedingly glad in it. Psalm 65 and 11 says, You crown the year with a bountiful harvest, and even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. First Chronicles 23 and 26. Now the Levites will no longer need to move the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. And uh, Isaiah 58 and 11. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden and ever-flowing spring. Well, God bless you. And we greet you uh, this morning with our weekly message. We're back from vacation. We didn't send a message last week, but we're here back just to uh, share just a few minor things. First of all, we're continuing in our Bible literacy program uh, from the Bible Recap. We're rounding out Jeremiah and also the Lamentation written by Jeremiah, and then we're getting into Ezekiel. And so we're making our way down to the Old Testament as we are more than halfway through our annual Bible literacy program, part one, using the Bible recap. I pray that you're excited about it like I am. And then part two, uh, Core 52 program, finds us in week 30, chap uh, pages 200 through 207, and it's talking about leadership. And so we're grateful to God for his mercies and his grace. And then um, we're going to be picking up where we left off of Wednesday and Friday morning prayer as normal. And then be mindful of the fact that our midweek Wednesday evening sessions are suspended for this month as we're on a sabbatical. And then uh, that wraps us up for the week, just a very short week. It's uh, officially the last week of the summer. Uh, the following week will find us in September with many of our uh, young people going back to school. I know I'm going back as I prepare to begin this last semester and work towards graduation. And so we thank God for you and we praise him for his mercies and his grace. And we're praying for you and we're uh, trusting God that he's going to keep you and that we're going to keep marching in purpose and destiny as we see what it is that God has planned for us. Well, that's it for now. May God continue to bless you and heaven smile upon you. And so our thought for this week is, I have faith in the faithfulness of God. What about you? Take care. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord. You are our strength and our redeemer. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly, but that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. Unto him be glory in the church by unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus, who are all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And if his countenance upon you, be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now forevermore. It is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen. Take care, everybody. God bless.